Bonjour everyone, how are you guys doing today? Today we need to talk about battle items because I feel like in NA we pretty much don't use any of them and they are super useful in helping us clear harder content. As we get closer and closer to more Legion Commanders, I think it's going to be important to have an understanding of how these items work to be able to meet damage checks and not die and just actually clap their cheeks so we can get our Relic gear. But before we jump into it, if you guys enjoy the content here, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I post daily to this channel. Also, if you guys like what we're doing over here, definitely check out my Twitch. The link is in the description box. I stream Monday to Friday starting at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you guys enjoy the content here, you will most definitely like it over there. If you guys are watching this video right now, I'm already live on Twitch, so be sure to click that link in the description box. Lastly, I'm going to be hosting a $100 Steam gift card giveaway on May 13th. That is tomorrow live on my Twitch. If you guys want to be eligible, just be sure you're subscribed to me on YouTube. Be sure you're following me on Twitch and be sure to be present for the giveaway. Thank you guys so much for 10K subscribers on YouTube. And now let's just jump straight into this video. Now, the first item I want to jump into, this is probably not news to most players, but I do want people to know about it, is pheromones. Pheromones are super useful. Instead of having to chase a monster around once they become invulnerable, you can just throw the pea bottle at them and they will actually return to the same location. If you feel like doing a bunch of guardian raids is annoying because it takes a while, if, if, if you feel like doing the event guardians is annoying because it takes a long time, use pheromones. It makes running like 8 or 12 or however many guardian raids you run in a day way less annoying. They cost the same as a flare and you get a bunch of these for free from the fever time event. So there is no reason you should not be bringing pheromones. All right, another item that's extremely important that people start using is the Repair Shop Portal Scroll. Let's say you're trying to get a nice Valgusi kill, but Valgusi kind of acting up. What you're going to want to do is use this bad boy. What this allows you to do is that it summons a portal at your location in a Guardian Raid, and it will teleport you back to the beginning area. Why is this important? Because this allows you to restock on potions and other consumables that you might be using up, and then you can just take the portal back and it'll leave you exactly where you left off. This is important because again, Volgano's being the hardest content in the game right now if you wanna get your Korean citizenship, or maybe you're trying to learn Volgano so you can start selling carries. Being able to resupply fast is very, very, very important for either of those things. So you definitely wanna be using Repair Shop Portal Scrolls to speed up your runs and or kill the Volgusi for the first time. All right, now for something that you guys are probably very familiar with, but have not used, the Swiftness Robe. Pretty straightforward. This lets you run faster. You can carry five of these and it's on a one minute cooldown. This is super useful. Just having this on your bar can make a huge difference. Let's say you're doing Argos and you messed up. You weren't sure what symbol you were. You weren't sure if you're uh, Moon or Sun and he's doing big pizza and you mess up. Pop this bad boy and get into the right position. Let's say you're doing, let's say you're doing Albion and you kind of messed up your positioning or something and you don't know where your star is. Pop a Swiftness Robe. Let's say you're about to get clapped by a mechanic. Pop a Swiftness Robe. Let's say you're doing Valganos and he's doing his little pizza thing. We have to stand behind him. Pop a Swiftness Robe. Being equipped for the right situation is important. And having this on your bar most of the time when you know you have to move out of mechanics, especially if you're a super immobile class that gets locked in animations, is very, very important and super helpful. Now, this next item we actually started using jokingly, uh, but it ended up being really, really useful. And now we always carry it in our Argoses. Uh, and that's campfires. The first time we used this, someone had suggested it and we were kind of joking around because we were running with six berserkers. I'm not kidding, we were running six berserkers. <laughs> and we ran campfire as a joke, right? But it actually saved our lives. And so now that we're running a regular team, we all bring campfires. What this does is that it restores your HP and MP when it's on the floor for your entire party. And the thing is, everyone is able to carry one of these. Now, this is not the most insane heal ever. It's a very small health regen. However, this will save your team. The fact that everyone can hold one of these if you guys are doing something new and you're learning mechanics and you guys are going to be probably messing up those mechanics. So you guys are going to be running out of potions. This makes a very big difference because you can rotate them in the team and everyone can drop them one after another. It's super, super helpful because a little bit of health regen makes a difference. Now we've got to talk about probably uh, the absolute best item in the game. Time stop potions. These make you temporarily invulnerable to all damage. These are the best item for someone who doesn't understand how every single mechanic on a fight works. What this does is that it's essentially a Zhonya's Hourglass. You pop it and you become completely invulnerable to damage, except if it's a white mechanic. And so if you mess up small pizza, if you mess up big pizza, if you mess up the pizza on Volganos, I'm starting to notice a trend here where a lot of us don't understand how to do pizza mechanics. 
uh, you want to just use your time stop potion to not take any damage and this allows you to stay standing and talk down to your teammates who don't know how to do the mechanics and also don't know how to use time stops it lets you keep that superiority over them while still having no idea what's happening <laughs> now this is more of a situational uh, potion this isn't completely useful for everyone, uh, but Awakening Pots are could be a massive damage buff for your character if you're playing a class that depends heavily on their specialty meter, uh, or you're a class that maybe you, you might have messed up, let's say you're playing Surge Deathblade, right, you depend heavily on your specialty meter, let's say you just popped your Surge and the boss went into like an invulnerability state or something happened, we had to do a mechanic, and you wasted pretty much all of your Surge state, you can just use an Awakening Pot and it'll completely recharge your identity meter, and it'll help you to get back to stack in those juicy surge stacks. Now this is an item I recently discovered myself uh, because I heard about it in passing through the Zerker nerfs, uh, but Adrofin pots are insanely powerful. What these do is that when you drink one, you lose 25% of your HP, but you get 30% attack power and 20% movement speed and attack speed for 10 seconds. That is juiced. And the reason people have been talking about these recently is because Mayhem Zerker is getting changed. Obviously, obviously there are some nerfs coming to that spec, However, people are speculating that it is actually going to end up being a buff because the changes to Mayhem allow Zerkers to now drink Adrofin potions. So that means they might end up doing more damage in the long term because they can stay in this massively buffed state. You can carry three of these into battle and you can drink these every one minute. So whenever you have a big burst window coming, pop one of these bad boys and just absolutely unload onto the boss. These are probably the item I'm the most happy that I actually discovered recently uh, because I've been thirsting for that NVP and I think this is going to be the damage I'm going to be missing uh, to just start dominating the damage meters. All right, so I didn't want to go for like every single item, but I do feel like there's some other items that are a little bit more straightforward, but I do want to bring some light to them because I do think that it's important to talk about them. The first being Splendid Panacea. Now, a lot of you guys know about Panacea. I'm sure you guys have used it. But the Splendid Panacea could be really, really helpful for, let's say, certain levels of the tower. Let's say the floor of the tower where there's that spider lady who uh, freezes you if you get, like, seven stacks of her, like, weird coom. What this does is that it removes any harmful debuffs from you, but then it prevents debuffs from being stacked on top of you for two seconds. This can be the time you need to just stand still and finish her off with, like, your awakening skill or whatever it is. Because a lot of times, that floor is really, really annoying because towards the end, there's so many things stacking that on top of you that you don't even have time to stand still to do one final blow to kill her. Protection potions and splendid protection potions. These can be really helpful because these are pretty cheap and they give you a 25% shield to your health. This is kind of important because if you know you're about to eat a mechanic, you can pop one of these. They have a very low cooldown and you can hold three of them. If you know you're about to eat a mechanic that isn't necessarily going to kill you, but you don't want to waste a potion, this could be a good alternative to kind of save your butt. Uh, but again, usually you only have so many slots on your bar, and if you are running something defensive, I would expect you're probably running a time stop potion. But this is a nice alternative if you don't want to run time stops. And lastly, I just want to touch on potions. I'm sure a lot of you know how they work, but just for anyone who isn't sure, the reason you run purple pots or the splendid purple pots isn't just because they actually heal for a lot. They also allow you to carry in more into the raid. So blues and greens, you can only bring five, but purples, you can bring seven, and then splendid purples, you can bring in nine. It's just important to touch on this because these are probably going to be useful if you're running Vaulton for the first time or if you're doing hard mode Vaulton right off rip. These might be extremely helpful in helping you guys clear content because having more taps on your potion is crucial to not getting the cheeks clapped. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I really do appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found, and found it helpful. As always, if you guys enjoy the content here, be sure to sub to the channel. I post daily. Check me out on Twitch. If you're watching this video right now, I'm already live, so be sure to click the link in the description box down below. And lastly, join the community Discord. It's filled with a bunch of amazing people. If you're looking for people to hang out with, chat with, play some Lost Ark with, you definitely want to be there. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye-bye!